Good morning. It's very early. Sorry about all the weird shadows. Let me um, put the other ring light on. Um, I just thought I'd walk you through what I'm up to here. Um, I'm making a book for my 52 tags um, and it's working out, which I'm really pleased about. <laughs> I wasn't sure. So um, let me talk you through what I've done. Um, I grabbed an old book. Um, I didn't know what size the spine was going to end up, I'll be honest with you, because, you know, a lot of the ones, you know, like I did the bamboo, I mean, the, you know, some of the pages are quite bulky. Um, so I've had to leave the spine till the last minute. Um, it'll be the last thing I have to do, really. So once I know how big my pages are or how how big my spine needs to be, that'll go in. So the pages themselves, let me show you, they are literally squares or rectangles um and the measurement was really simple to do i uh, i'm centimeters i'm afraid um i literally m measured the back page the you know the cover page here um mine was 22 and a half by 15 so what i did that's centimeters by the way so what i did was um i cut it 22 and a half centimeters tall but 30 wide so that I could have a fold up double page. Now, I knew some of these tags were going to be quite heavy. Um, there's one. I'll show you the rest of them in a minute. Um, so I've actually put card in between two pieces of fabric. OK, now I knew I wanted to pin my tags on with uh, the garment bulb pins so I didn't glue hang on I didn't glue the fabric on because I wouldn't have any you know I wouldn't be able to get the pin through as easy um, as you can see these have gone through absolutely no problem at all so I spray basted the card to the fabric with um, the 505 spray which quilters use a lot um, am I in screen let me just make sure yeah um and then sewed around the edges i just sewed them in as a flat flat rectangle and then the the card inside it's just amazon packaging something of that weight um because it needs you know it needs to be able to take the weight of the tags basically because they are quite heavy some of them like i said so i've just literally pinned on the last Four, well not last four but uh, so that's week 48 so we've only got four more to do so we've got plenty I've got loads of space so that's fine so what it ended up was um, as I say my pages at that side I could fit four tags on each page and um, what I'm gonna do is do numbers here uh, and then I can flip over to see what the stitch is okay or what we did on that thing so I'm not worried too much about that I wanted it in a book because I think I'll use it as a as a reference, you know, just for ideas and stuff like that in the future. So, um, yeah, that's that really. So here's the rest of them. Let me show you. Um, the front page I've left empty because I'm going to do a free motion piece, I think, which says... 52 tags handmade and brook that kind of thing uh, and the, the the year 2021 so um it's slightly annoying that they keep sort of moving but i think once it's up in a book type state you know they'll all stand still anyway they've got quite bent being on the rings so um they're not behaving terribly well at the moment right stay <laughs> so yeah there we are um they look really nice so let me just see what you can see yeah i suppose what i could do is actually oh no i don't want to stick them do i um as i say i think when it's stood up it's only because they're on their side at the moment when it is stood in a book i think it'll be fine so there we are so this is um the first signature i've left it as a double signature so that i can actually do a three hole pamphlet stitch through there it's going to be ever so fiddly but, you know never mind so yeah here's the next um so yeah they'll they will start behaving thank you like that basically i think it's I'll just shove it out there i think it's i think that's fine so yeah you'll be able to, i'll be able to leaf through the book 
and it'll have the week numbers on the back. It's gone chronological, so that's sort of 17, 18, 19, 20. I, say I might put the numbers on there, but it doesn't really matter about the numbers, what week it was. So um, it's just um, the stitch itself, you know, or what the inspiration was. You know, that was just flowers. I mean, this was uh, the Pekingese stitch and this was, I can't remember, words. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So as you can see, I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to work and it's going to look really pretty. Um, yeah, I like it and very simple. I mean, it really hasn't taken that long to do. The thinking about it was the longest bit. Um, but once I'd got the pages stitched, pinned them on, just gone, I've just sat and pinned them all on. Um, yeah. So, I'll say it's going to be quite a chunky monkey. So I've only got four more to go in. So technically I've only got another page. Um, so I think I can comfortably make the spine for my book. So as you can see, let me just pick them all up again. It's quite a sizable spine at the moment. <laughs> There's only four more to go, so... What I'll probably do is put a hitch post on the front cover and then um, now I don't want it to squash too much so I am going to make it quite big spine actually. It'll have to be quite tough. Yeah, I think I'm looking at about 10 centimetres. Uh, I might go 11 actually. That is wide, but that's fine. I don't I don't particularly want them all to be squished to death. Let me put those on, see, see if that makes any difference. Yeah, I don't want it to gator mouth. It's gonna have a hitch post here with elastic. So let's just say that that is, that is it. So yeah, actually 10 centimeters would be fine. Yeah, 10 centimetre spine. Right. OK, um, I just thought I'd sort of talk you through this. If you've got any questions, just let me know. Um, but I think this is, for me, this is going to be the easiest way. They're going to be protected from dust. Um, you know, if necessary, I could make a fabric envelope for it to keep all the dust off. But, um, you know, it can sit on a shelf as a book uh, and I'll use it as a reference book. So, cool. Love it. What I'll do, um, I'll get it finished and then I will do my next tag um, with Anne, um, Anne's next tag, sorry. And I will show you what it looks like when it's all done because I think I'm quite happy to bind it now uh, because I say the next four tags, that should be plenty of room. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, I'll post this and I'll see you on the next one. Won't be long. Bye.